Federal Credit Union Sports Desk. Well, I'll tell you what, the temperatures are hot outside, so we decided to stay inside the gym where the Summer Camp Trail continued this week with another fun field event at Louisiana Tech. Let's send it over to Jeremy Bryant, who was out there and rested earlier today to catch up with our next stop on the trail. All right, everyone, we're back on the camp season trail for the summer, and today we made a trip over to the Tech for the Lady Texters Development Camp, and today wasn't about solely learning the game. It was about expanding and refining, which you already know. The camp invited campers from 6th to 12th grade to fine tune their skill development of offense and defense. They went through ball handling, passing, finishing at the rim and everything in between to reach the next level of their skill set. The campers also got the chance to gain in-depth instruction from the Lady Texters themselves taking time out as they progress through the offseason. Now, if you missed out on today's camp, don't worry. Coach Stowers still has some summer camp action coming up on August 10th with her elite camp. Covering Lady Tech's the basketball from the Tech, I'm Jeremy Bryant. And on to some powerlifting news. West Monroe girls powerlifting coach Obi Sims has built quite the resume. 429 wins and only 19 losses, including back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back 5A state titles. A legacy in the making, but it's not only the wins and losses that Sims enjoys the most. It's actually preparing the youth for the challenges of life. The West Monroe girls powerlifting program has been a dominant force for years now. 16 total state titles, including back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back championships more recently. That is the norm when it comes to the Lady Rebels powerlifting, but that hasn't always been the case. When I first took over as the head coach, we had 25 kids, and we're taking 55 this summer, uh, which is a big number. We had 58 last year. Um, but it, it's, it's a lot of kids, but they all enjoy it, and they get a lot out of it. And it teaches them how to, you know, it, it's going to help them mentally and physically later in life. Sims was named a National High School American Coaches Association Coach of the Year finalist for a stellar career as a head coach. But the recognition goes further than the sport of powerlifting. Moreover, the way he uses the sport to prepare the student athletes for life. You're going to hit walls in the weight room. You're going to hit plateaus. You, 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 you're going to get to a point where you're thinking, why am I in here doing this? And life is unforgiving. You know, it, it, it's not easy. And uh, it, it, if you can learn how to push through barriers here while you're in high school, you'll be that much more prepared when you get out of high school. And not just getting them ready to take on the real world, but how to do so successfully and putting them on the right track to do just that. You don't know how you how you affect a child or, or affect a lifter until until you know. You know, um, that's the biggest part of it, man. It is how what they learn here um, and just the lessons they learn in the weight room. Uh, we, we we have kids that they have a you know they'll have an issue, they'll come talk to us because they trust us. Um, but it, it, it's more about getting the kids ready to go when they walk across that stage in May uh, as it is lifting. I tell you what, you got to love learning life through the sport that you love so much. Hey, that's all the time for sports tonight. We'll have more news and weather after the break. Keep it right here on Fox 14.